Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's Sermon Overtime for our Big Questions series. This morning, we are tackling little big question number eight, which goes like this. Does God want Christians to obey the law of the land where they live? Like, as in, does God really care if you and I speed down the road when we're driving, or, or does he really care if we pay our taxes or, or not, and things like that? Does God really want us to obey the laws of the land? Well, you tell me. Let's see what God has to say about it in Romans chapter 13. If you have a Bible with you, if you would please take a second to turn to Romans 13 with me, that would be great. If you don't have a Bible with you, maybe just minimize me for a second and open another browser window or uh, switch apps on your phone. Go to Bible Gateway and uh, go to Romans chapter 13, because um, I want you to see this for yourself uh, in your own Bible or on your own phone. So go ahead. I'll wait. You got it? All right, let's start reading Romans chapter 13, starting in verse 1. It says, Everyone must submit themselves to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that exist have been established by God. Consequently, whoever rebels against the authority is rebelling against what God has instituted, and those who do so will bring judgment on themselves. For rulers hold no terror for those who do right, but for those who do wrong. Do you want to be free from the one in authority? Then do what is right, and he will commend you. For he is God's servant to do you good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword for nothing. He is God's servant, an agent of wrath, to bring punishment on the wrongdoer. Therefore, it is necessary to submit to the authorities, not only because of possible punishment, but also because of conscience, right? This is also why you pay taxes, for the authorities are God's servants who give their full time to governing. Give everyone what you owe him. If you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Seems pretty clear cut, right? Yeah, but what does that really mean, Matt? Someone might say. I'm guessing it means everyone must submit himself to the governing authorities. And Just read it again. It's pretty clear cut. Despite how our culture may act toward authorities as Christians, we are called to honor them. And the answer is yes. God does want us to obey the laws of the land as long as the laws don't go against his laws. Right? If at any time our government did pass a law that somehow required us to sin against God according to God's laws, then we have God's permission not to follow that law of the land. There are some great examples of that in the book of Daniel, if you want to read that later. It's a great read anyway, but at one point the king passes this law that everyone has to bow down to this idol. Well, that's in the Ten Commandments. God says, do not worship idols. Don't worship anyone but him. And so these three followers of God refuse, and uh, God blesses them and takes care of them for that. And in a later chapter, like I mentioned last Sunday very briefly, Daniel uh, prays, even though the king passes a law, you're not to pray to anyone except the king. Daniel prays to God anyway, and God rescues Daniel from the, the consequences the king has for that. Because when we honor God, he will honor us. But at the same time, don't use that as a cop-out, please. Because speeding down the road, driving the speed limit, that doesn't go against God's laws. right? Paying our taxes, God actually commands us to do that. Be a good citizen out of reverence for God, even if you're not a big fan of who's in charge of the law of the land at the moment. Honor that leader for God, out of reverence for God. Yeah, but he's a really hard leader to like, you might say. Do you have any idea who was in charge of the Roman Empire when the Apostle Paul wrote the words we just read? It was the Emperor Nero. 
If you don't know much about him historically, look him up sometime. I'm pretty sure whoever you don't like in the government is not as bad as Nero was. So be a good citizen and a good witness to those around you for God.